Hello everyone, my name is Aniket Amdekar and in this video we are going to take a look at what is a system account in Windows and how do we log into a computer with system account. So what is a system account? It is used by the operating system that is Microsoft Windows and the services that run under Windows. System account is an internal account which is used by the operating system for internal purposes. The system account and the administrator account have the same privileges but different functions. By default, the system account is granted full control on all files on an NTFS volume. That is the reason why a lot of vendors try to run their software in the system account privilege. So for example, an antivirus vendor wants to scan all the files on a computer and he wants to clean them as well in case if they are infected. So this kind of access is provided for system account. So there are a few things that you should know about system account that it does not show up in user manager. It cannot be added to any groups. The system account cannot have user rights assigned to it. It is showed up in the permissions portion of the security menu. So if you go to the properties of a folder, if you go to the security section over there, where you are able to see what all users have access to this folder, you should be able to see system account over there. The password for system account is maintained by the operating system. That is the reason why you cannot use this account for logging into a Windows machine using the login window or the login screen that you get when the system so when the system boots up you have this login screen you put your username password so over there you cannot use the system account because the password for a system account is maintained by the operating system so what are the prerequisites for logging into a computer as system account. The user must have rights for adding an interactive scheduled task. So if this right is provided for a user, in that case he can log into a computer as a system account. However, if the user does not have the rights for adding a scheduled task and uh, suppose a member of an admin team wants to continue troubleshooting on that computer without logging off the user. In that case, he can escalate the privileges by running the command prompt with run as option. So, so basically he can just uh, go to command prompt, he can right click on this, right click on it and click on run as. Over here he can provide the username of an admin account and in that case that command prompt will run under the privileges of administrative account. So that is the beauty of Windows that if you if you use the run as command you can use the privileges of a different user for running an application. In context with installations in a lot of situations the installation of a software package is not successful with user account privileges. In that case, you can log in, you can log into the machine with the system account and then try to install the software to see if it works. Okay, now let's look at the demonstration on how you can log into a computer using system account. Okay, I'm going to bring up the command prompt. I'm going to add a, an interactive scheduled task over here because so the principle that we are using here is that if you are running the command prompt with the run as option and then use administrative account in that case it will use the privileges of administrator for running the command prompt. So similarly if you create a scheduled task so whatever actions you are configuring in a scheduled task will be run under the system account privilege. 
to add that interactive schedule task the command is at then you have to provide uh, the time for the time at which that command should run so in my case it should be let's say 0 3 1 2 then interactive after that you have to give after that you have to give the executable that you want to run in this case cmd.exe and here we go added a new job with job id okay as you can see another command prompt has popped up but the difference is the earlier command prompt is running under cmd.exe however the one that we are seeing now is using svchost.exe so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to open up the task manager and we are going to do an end task for explorer.exe right now explorer.exe is running under the privileges of the current uh, the current user now we'll go to the svchost.exe and launch explorer.exe okay as you can see a new desktop has been loaded here we are again explorer.exe has been executed and this time it is running under the privilege of system account so if you click on start you can see that the logged on user is system uh, now if you want to switch back to the user with which you were, you were working earlier in that case just open up the task manager again go to explorer.exe and do an end process okay now we'll go back to command.exe and type in explorer.exe and if I go to start menu here we go we are back to the user account if you want to know more about the system account you can always refer to this knowledge base article from Microsoft alright everyone Thanks a lot for taking your time and watching this video. Thank you.